Have you ever watched a sporting event and thought to yourself, man, do these players get paid a lot? I'm talking about people like Tiger Woods. Well, if you thought they get paid a lot, wait until you see what's happening in the digital transformation of sports. As we focus on an invest investment opportunity today called ESE Entertainment, and you can find them under the TSXV, under the ticker symbol ESE, or under the OTC, under the ticker symbol ENTEF. And uh, I have to say, this is a pretty exciting one for us today. And the reason why is because the numbers are just eye popping. As we have a look here at the market, we can note here that for 2019, the Dota Championship OG Gaming uh, Prize was over $15.6 million. By comparison, uh, in 2019, the Wimbledon Champion won about $3 million. Tiger Woods won about two, right? Only two. And uh, the PGA in 2019 gave out about uh, $2 million. So um, as we have a look here at the graph, it shows that esports are going to continue to grow at an aggressive annual rate. And it's already largely eclipsing all of these traditional sports. So uh, again, uh, there's not very many people who are capitalizing on this trend, but ESE looks like they are on the cutting edge. So what is the opportunity? Well, as we noted earlier, uh, the way that people consume sports and media is changing. It's mostly moving online. So there's a huge opportunity here. Why? There is not one dominant force or infrastructure uh, company that is powering esports. So what that means is that there's a fragment of channels have made it difficult for esport companies to generate revenue compared to traditional sports. The prize money is there and uh, things are likely going to start emerging. And uh, I think that if you think this trend is real, there's a real investment opportunity here. So there's a lack of standardization. Unlike traditional sports leagues, difficult to secure for rights on behalf of teams. Lack of permanent digital and physical infrastructure for supporting events. It is difficult to manage a global broadcasting and advertising channel. So what is a solution, right? That's what we want to know. How can we make some money off of this? Well, ESC is a world-class esports infrastructure company. Uh, they have software and events for in tournaments. They have physical infrastructure and broadcasting capabilities. They have existing global distribution for esports related content. They have a growing gaming franchise that includes professional teams. They have a tier one advertising sponsorship and business partners, including the likes of people like Porsche, Ford, and many others. So um, we are going to be looking at the future state of this company because they are very cheap when we compare them to their peers. And uh, there's going to be very many future catalysts the company is going to be pushing through. So stay tuned all the way till the end of the video to make sure let us know what you think. And if you wouldn't mind smashing that thumbs up and dropping us a comment. Were you a little bit surprised by the numbers that uh, Tiger Woods is getting paid versus that Dottie Championship? I know I was when the first time I saw it. Anyways, by comparison here, we can see that ESC appears to be deeply discounted by... Its peers are worth uh, hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars. And ESC is roughly worth about $60 million today. The executive summary, meaning what does the company do? Well, again, their core business lines include technology, infrastructure, and gaming franchises. Their partners include Red Bull, Orlin, Porsche, LG, Neosurf, and Nuve. Again, there are some companies' highlights, including emerging position as a global esports platform. They have a diversified business model. They have exceptional market opportunity. They have a recently completed acquisition. And uh, again, uh, that, that, that's one that's pretty notable here for the company. It looks like they're making some big inroads. And we're going to talk about that a little bit later in the presentation here. They are a global force. So uh, gaming is not uh, in one region. It is a global phenomenon. So what do you have to be? You have to be a global company. They have offices in North America in Europe, and even in Singapore. The company's assets include technology support and gaming, gaming franchise. For uh, just to make sure we're getting through the video a little bit faster, I'm gonna encourage you to pause the video, read the slide if you wanna learn more. At a high level, that's what they provide. Technology support and gaming franchise. Basically a 360, a 360 solution. So what are esports and uh, how are they gonna capitalize on this opportunity? Well. Um, again, gaming is a full gaming value chain from hardware manufacturing to service providers, including software, hardware, distribution, and service uh, service provision. Esports, value chain related to organizing, participating in, and executing competitive gaming events. Again, we looked at numbers before. They're massive, right? So there's media rights, there's sponsorships, there's advertising, there's ticket and online entries. Um, again, uh, what I want to look at here is actually something I have not seen very frequently. Canaccord Genuity actually provided this report solely for the purpose of investor information 
and is not provided as a recommendation, rating, or price target with respect to the securities or the subject companies discussed in this report. I don't really often see them putting out uh, research uh, reports without a price target or without a recommendation. It seems like ESC is actually making some waves, even if they don't want to initiate coverage. So looking at a high level here, uh, what Canaccord is telling us is that ESE Entertainment is a European-based media and technology company that provides the infrastructure and expertise for eSport publishers to reach their intended audiences. The company currently operates in four main business lines and is actively pursuing additional opportunities to further build out its portfolio of assets in the rapidly growing global eSports industry. Again, as we noted earlier, they have a 360 solution for eSports industry, including connecting gamings with operators to fans. They are a leader in simulating racing, and they've actually recently had a news re re release with Ford, and they have partners like Porsche, so this company is really making some inroads there. Uh, the Championship Esports team, again, we've talked about that before, it's a really big deal. These teams make a lot of money, and people definitely are, uh, uh, are wanting to follow them. they got fans around the world. Fan engagement and telecommunication infrastructure, that's a really big deal. Again, they acquired 51% uh, ownership in WPG, as we noted earlier. The future of ESE Entertainment. They have cross-selling opportunities across business lines. Why? They have a holistic view to this industry where they can actually provide end-to-end -end value, like we noted at the beginning in their, uh, in their business overview. Organic growth from expansion of simulating racing business. What does that mean? They're connecting to some of the biggest companies and brands in the world, and when you do that, you have more opportunities, right? Including Porsche, Kia, uh, Kia NASCAR, Indy, and car manufacturers like Ford. Uh, continued consolidation in global esports assets. We saw some of the companies listing on the Canadian boards acquired within a few months of being bought out. So uh, there's some underlying value here, and the market is definitely paying attention. Rapidly growing global esports market. It is pumping. Look at those numbers, right? From 2017 to 2022, it is going to be going on. It's going to be undergoing some dramatic growth. And we can note the different lines here as well, right? Brand investment revenue, including media rights, advertising, and sponsorships. That's the one that's going to balloon from roughly half a billion today to 1.5 billion in 2022. All right, moving forward. Europe is one of the largest markets in the world, and it is no surprise that they have their European location in Warsaw. And they recently made an acquisition of a European company. Why? Because that's where the market is focused. So it makes sense that that's where they're focusing their energy. Look at the numbers. It's huge. They have, a, they have a pretty stacked executive team. I'm looking at, uh, we spoke with Conrad on one of our streams, uh, I believe it was a couple of weeks ago, and drop a, uh, we're gonna drop a link to that in the description if you wanna read it. And we're also gonna have a CEO interview published later this week with Conrad. Really sharp guy, used to play in the CFL. He's got a passion and he is driven for success. We got Rick Brace, uh, who was part of uh, uh, Rogers, and again, a seasoned executive. I also recognize uh, Ron Sujev, who uh, ironically, at one of the startups I used to work at in Vancouver, he was our corporate lawyer. Solid stand-up guy and someone who looks great on this executive team. We got someone from McMillan and the TSX as well. And uh, just, for, just for time, we're gonna, we're gonna ask you to pause the video if you wanna read the rest of the descriptions. All right, more people, right? They got even more people here on their executive team. So again, it looks like they have people who are specialized in every area, including digital motorsports, that WPG, and everything else that is needed. They even have a, uh, have a director of uh, EU operations and a K, uh, kick franchise, right? Everything we need to be successful. So we talked about it earlier, but what are the upcoming growth catalysts, right? Let's look and see. They completed an acquisition of digital motorsports. So ESC completed the acquisition of uh, digital motorsports in September of 2021. A pretty big deal. A leader in simulation racing, e-commerce, and e-sports. This is going to provide some synergies to the company. Working with leading motorsport companies across the world. Multiple business synergies. There you go. There's that magic word. Synergies! Expand simulated racing businesses. Opportunities to expand existing relationships with Porsche, Kia, and other car manufacturers worldwide. Create and develop relationships with the major racing series around the world, such as NASCAR, Indy, and MotoGP. Expand their revenue from track scanning technology. Expand business relationships with motorsport companies. People love watching this stuff. They love it, love it, love it. And instead of listening to me, let's listen to the CEO of ESE and uh, Craig Breen, who is the Ford M Sport WRC driver. So again, let's read the comment here from Conrad first. 
And this is from a news release. If you're interested, the link to the source is right here. But we're just going to read these, uh, these, uh, these quotes here because this is really what it's all about. Um, so again, this is a recent uh, brand. This is a recent uh, announcement that they made between Digital Motorsports brand and with Ford World Rally Team, which is owned by Ford Company. Again, Ford's been in the news a lot lately. So, all right, they're working with some of the best brands in the world, and with only a sixty million dollar sixty million dollar market cap, they're punching way above their weight class. So again, Conrad here, CEO of ESC, states. Digital Motorsports has once again proven as an industry leader by working directly with Ford's Motorsports division. Together, we have developed a unique technology to enable world rally drivers to prepare for the next generation of hybrid rally cars. We talked about this on our live stream. It's very cool and very exciting. I was thrilled when I saw this news release. Craig, uh, again, Ford M Sport WRC uh, driver, commented, I'm super excited to be heading into a new era of the sport with Ford and M Sport. It's something that I've wanted to, wanted and have dreamt about for a long time. And finally, it's here. It's in our hands now to go out and perform, especially with the new hybrid cars coming to effect for 2022. It's such an exciting time to be involved in World Rally. At the pinnacle of the sport and with such a prestigious team and partners such as M Sport and Digital Motorsports. We have a unique opportunity with Digital Motorsport and the custom simulator that we have, that has been built, uh, been developed, in that we can work with a team, get the virtual car dialed in, and really start to get familiar with the hybrid technology. This will be a world uh, world first in our area in motorsports, and I just can't wait to get started. It's the same thing as we talked about on the on the stream where if you want to be a pilot, guess what you do? You get into the simulator, you punch in your hours, and you make sure you got the skill set required so that. When you go out into the real world, it's safe, it's cozy, and it's fun. All right, so future opportunities here as well for ESC include expanding distribution rights and league businesses, again, providing infrastructure for new games, increased opportunities for media rights, expand revenue from technology. They're working with a $6 billion partner in the EU, and uh, it's a really big deal. Finally, aggressive uh, they're going to aggressively pursue acquisition targets. What does that mean? The, uh, the sector is currently undergoing consolidation, so when companies are up for grabs, you want to get the best assets while you can. ESC has a strong pipeline of, pipeline of potential acquisition targets, well-capitalized treasury with zero debt, right? That big donut. That's exactly what we want to see on debt, right? We don't want to see them owing anything. They have a focus on accretive opportunities that can maximize shareholder value. That's exactly what we want. So again, uh, that is ESE Entertainment at a high level, and I highly encourage you to Drop us a comment. Let us know. What do you think? Does this trend look real? Does some of their partners look legit? And tell us what you think about the future of esports. Is it going to dominate physical sports like we see today? Is something you going to emerge? And make sure to smash a thumbs up as you're dropping us a comment. Thank you very much, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.